Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Akash Thip here with us, who recently got placed at Fastenal through his campus placements at VIT. So Fastenal is a super team company in VIT, and it basically deals with industrial supplies, and it's an American company. So before we go into the discussion with Akash Thip, let's look at the eligibility criteria. So all CSE and circuit branches were eligible. and provided they have a cgpa of 7 or 70% in a 10th 12th as well as the pursuing degree with no standing arrears so let's now go ahead and talk to akash deep hi akash deep uh, firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement yeah, thank you bro so can you introduce yourself first yeah so basically i'm akash deep bro and i did my bachelor's in btech in like my stream was csc in specialization with information security okay. so i did it in from vit me valore that is the main campus hmm. i'm basically like from haryana okay. and uh, at the end of the three year i scored like my aggregate cgp was 8.96 okay yeah and that's it okay um thanks for sharing and you can now tell us about the hiring process like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of yeah for the first one first we received the mail like in the in morning itself hmm. this is the mail that the company is visiting for the placements and they shortlisted 250 approximately 250 or like 260 students okay. for the first round that is the coding round okay so they shortlisted yeah so we had the exam in the evening like in 6 to 8 that was the exam timings hmm. so in the first thing like it was of 2 hours so the first hour was completely coding okay. so you have to first that was the composite like you cannot switch between the rounds and you cannot switch between the sections okay. so first that has the three coding questions that hmm. was like moderate and one was a little difficult but hmm. moderate also hmm. so that was the three questions after that you will be moved to the next section so in that section you have two sub sections one was for the aptitude and other was for the technical hmm. that you can switch in between and the total i think 25 questions were for aptitude okay. and 47 were for technical mcqs okay yeah the technical mcqs were like larger in strength so they were like comparatively easy like not that tough like hmm okay yeah so after that too uh, in the uh, like 6 to 8 was the exam time so approximately 10:30 or 11 only we got the shortlist for the further rounds okay and that was approximately 40 to 45 students they shortlisted for the interview rounds hmm. next day only they started the interview processes so the next day we had our interview in the morning first i had technical interview so we didn't know how many rounds they were going to be there but that was like uh, on the basis of shortlisting Okay. And the technical interview was around for me. It was around one point, like one to one and a half hours. Okay. Uh, so in that, I was asked like in-depth questions related to OOPs, inheritance, hmm. uh, OS, TBMS. Yeah, they didn't ask me about computer networks, but uh, leaving that, they asked me ev- like questions on every field. And in in inheritance, a OOP we went to two depth. Okay. And then I was asked to code two live questions. Hmm. One was basic like reverse stack, and hmm. other was edit distance. That is like originally it is a question of DP, but it was just like we have to tell Boolean values. Okay. So that is, that can be done without DP also. Hmm. Yeah. And after that I was also asked to do a SQL query hmm. that I also did, and then I was asked to uh, predict the output of a snippet that the interview provided me. Okay. So yeah. that was all about the technical interview i'll rate it as a moderate level because yeah the theory questions and the core knowledge questions were like some difficult hmm. yeah so it was overall it was a good for me and the interviewer was also like really helpful and he was like giving me proper time for the thinking and all those things okay and there was only one panelist for the interview okay. and then after that we got personal mail like uh, we were like uh, those who have passed the technical interviews hmm. we got a personal mail suggesting that yeah we have that this managerial round after schedule okay so the managerial round for me first he congratulated me and all those things hmm. and then he asked basic questions related to, like introduce yourself along with the projects you have done hmm. Hmm. then he asked some questions related to like not technical questions just he want to get like what did you do and hmm. why did you do it all those things okay then he asked some basic behavioral questions hr questions like what are your goals and all those things okay yeah that was the okay so that was two tech interview rounds and one coding round okay and finally we got shortlisted of 12 final students that was selected and i was one of them 
okay okay that's great congrats again and thanks for sharing your experience uh, would you like to share any suggestions or tips for people who want to get yeah. into good companies yeah yeah so like dsa is very important yeah for interview question like for interview question dsa is very very important and mm. you can practice on that leap code and mm. gft i preferred only these two sites only okay like the some uh, some students they went to multiple sites like hack rank code mm. rank mm. any other sites also but yeah i think that's like if you do one or two sites properly then it's fine okay and also like some people prefer like yeah we we have a fancy resume by fancy means we have done four internships five mm. internships mm. 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 like it like, matters but it doesn't matter as much right. like a simple resume but you have to you should be a proper they should not any false information mm. like some students they paste just hackathons they mm. hackathons but mm. they haven't actually participated mm. so that will just give a very bad impact right. so yeah we can prepare from here like, and today everything is on youtube and we can prepare everything like i prefer for youtube channels i prefer one is aditya verma mm. and the other striver and love of birth these three okay. i prefer right okay yeah Okay thank you so much again for the suggestions and for sharing your experience thank you and thank you for inviting me